Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I'm going to show you guys how to enable multitasking gestures on your iPhone 4. Now, I do not know if this works with the iPod Touch or the older generation iPhones because it has not been tested, or at least it hasn't been tested by me. So I highly recommend that you either don't do this or proceed with caution, knowing that you might end up having to either restore your device or make backups of all the files that you're gonna end up replacing. So then you can just restore those files. So again, if you don't know what multitasking gestures are, they are new in iOS 4.3 and up, so also in 4.3.1, and they are only really for developers for the iPad, because you can enable your iPad for development use, and then you obviously get multitasking gestures. Well, you can enable it on your iPhone, as well as probably your iPod Touch, but again, I have not tested it on it. So again, you can enable these multitasking gestures, and what you can do is if you're inside of an application, you can pinch in on the screen with either four or five fingers, and this does include your thumb, and that takes you to the home screen, and uh, you can also just go ahead and swipe up with four or five fingers anywhere, and it brings you to the dock, and if you're inside of an application, you can swipe over with four or five fingers to the left or the right, and it switches between your open application as well as your recently closed applications that are still in your multitasking bar. So I'm going to show you the easiest way to do this. What you're going to do is follow the link that's down below in the more info, and you will be taken to a page where you can download this. Now I have compiled it for you in a zip file and it's called multitasking gestures and simply open the zip file and it will actually just give you this folder and if you're on Windows just open it and drag out the folder and then what you're going to do is open up the folder and you will notice that it has other folders inside of it. So what you're going to have to do is SSH into your device. Now I have my SSH open right here and then what you're going to do is uh, look at the folder and uh, you're going to have to actually expand some of them like for instance this one you're going to have to expand it because uh, it is too long but anyway you're going to look at that name and you're going to go to that folder inside of your iDevice when you're SSH'd into it so as you can see this one says system forward slash library forward slash core services forward slash springboard dot app so I'm just gonna give you guys an example so we're gonna go ahead and go to the forward slash and then go to system and then inside of system library and then inside of library we're going to go to core services and uh, core services is right here and then again springboard dot app now what you're going to do is just place this plist file inside of here. Now, I highly recommend backing this file up first. So obviously, in order to back it up, you just want to find it, and it is right here. So to back it up, you would just drag it to your desktop like so, and then it backs it up. And uh, what you're going to do with this file is just take it and drag it and drop it, and then it will ask you if you want to overwrite it, and you just click Continue, and then it transfers it and uploads it, and it replaces it with the newer one. Again, you want to back it up just in case it ends up messing up your iPhone or iPod Touch so you can actually replace it. And you're just going to do that with all of the files, and it is that simple. So, for instance, for this one, we're just going to go to Applications, and then we're going to go to Preferences.app, and then inside of here, we're just going to open up this folder, and we're going to place these two files inside of it, and then it will ask me if I want to override them, and I will say continue. So now they are uploaded with the new ones, and we're just gonna do the same thing for the last one, which is just var. So you find the var folder, you go to mobile, and then inside of mobile, you just go to library, and then inside of library, again, you go to preferences. So this is kind of repetitive, and it's just really easy and really simple to do. So once you find it, you just drag it in, and again, you override it. So once you have finished doing that, you're going to have to reboot your iPhone or iPod Touch. And then once it is rebooted, you will have to go inside of the settings application. And inside of the settings application, you will notice at the very top, you get something called multitasking underscore gestures, and then just turn it on. Now, on the iPad, it actually shows you and it tells you what it actually does and how to use it. But for this, I already told you how to use it. Again, you pinch in on the screen with four or five fingers to go to the home screen. Please remember to let me know what you think down below in the comments section. And also, be sure to subscribe if you aren't already subscribed. So again, I hope you guys like this video. And until next time, this is ICU, signing out.